Welcome back to the Angry Man Podcast with Jason and Greg. So, Jay, thank you for sending me this clip. New audio released of the exchange between Terrence Crawford and Teofimo Lopez is quite interesting. Now, Jay, we know that Terrence Crawford attended both the event at UFC, what was it, 306, as well yeah. as the event uh, this past weekend, Canelo Alvarez versus Edgar Belanga. And um, we saw him in the ring with, um, or we saw him in the dressing room, rather, with uh, Kayla Plant. Uh, we saw him in the crowd. And eventually it surfaced that Terrence Crawford had an altercation with Teofimo Lopez. The first thing that I want to do, Jay, is this. I want to apologize for the comments that I made in regards to Terrence Crawford this past weekend, where I said, I don't know why Terrence Crawford is doing what he's doing. Um, it seems to me that he went a bit too far with uh, wanting to get at um, Teofimo Lopez and putting his hands all in Teofimo Lopez's face. I didn't really understand that. But based off of what these new reports are telling us, Teo was the one that walked over to Terrence Crawford and wanted to tell him to his face and also challenge him to his face to a fight and tell him that he feels that he will beat Terrence Crawford in the event that they were to fight each other in the very near future which uh, to one extent i feel like hey that you know you got some cojones for doing that um but in another breath i could see how a fighter would take that to be disrespect and terrence crawford took it to be disrespect and so i can understand why he reacted in the manner that he reacted in so I take back what I said. I have additional information. And so my opinion about that whole exchange, or at least how Terrence Crawford reacted in that exchange has changed. Now, we saw several different angles of this exchange, Jay. Um, and eventually ES News posted something here recently. And then we saw yet another angle where someone got up close and you could actually hear what they were saying which I thought was quite interesting. And Teofimo Lopez has since responded to it, calling Terrence Crawford, what do you call him, sweet? Or call him a, uh, that bud sweet leaf like is a ten. Yeah, something like that. So once they got up close to each other, what Teofimo Lopez told him was basically to the extent that I could understand it, accept my challenge, so that the world can see me beat you. You're afraid for the world to see me beat you or something to that effect, Jay. To which Terrence Crawford responded, Jay, I want to fight you outside of the ring. Let me back up and say that again, Jay. I want to fight you, but I want to fight you outside of the ring. Yeah. That part I'm not tracking with. I don't understand it. Because... If a fighter is challenging to, challenging you to the opportunity to fight and you really want to lay hands on them, do it in a way where you can get paid. Hey. Like, how is it possible that you are interested in laying hands on um, Teofimo Lopez like that is worth your time, yet fighting someone like Jerron Ennis for actual payday isn't worth your time? Like, I don't understand that. Like, this is about listen, respect. I, 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 man, I don't care if someone is being disrespectful. Like, if I'm a, if I'm a, a, a professional fighter, then I earn my dollars in the ring. So if I have a true desire to fight you, then my interest is to fight you in the ring where I can whoop yo, you know what, and also get paid in doing so. So I don't understand the energy. I want to fight you outside of the ring. Just say, hey, man, listen, you can talk. You don't bring anything to the ring for me. You don't bring anything to my legacy. Let me move forward. But that comment really didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I just I just didn't understand it. Right. So that's like Canelo saying uh, when he mentioned uh, that, you know, uh, Terrence Crawford mentioned that Canelo Alvarez was a threat or he was a threat to Canelo Alvarez's legacy. Canelo says, I don't, well, I don't want to fight you 
in, a, in an actual prize fight. I want to fight you outside of the ring. To which Terrence Crawford would say, absolutely not. There is no benefit for me fighting you outside of the ring. I want to get the payday. So it, like, none of it makes sense to me. Like the comments, like just dismiss them and move forward and, and let that be it, that or fight them. I'd watch it. I'd watch it. I think I think Teofimo gets cooked, but Teofimo believes that he sees something that he can exploit against Terrence Crawford. I don't see what he can exploit. Now, don't get me wrong. Teofimo does seem to raise his level against better competition, but I just don't see anything he can exploit against Terrence Crawford, who I consider the best pound for pound fighter in the sport. Jay, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I don't agree with Terrence wanting to fight him outside of the ring. To your point, I'm a professional boxer. Let me get paid to whip your, you know what? Exactly. You know, let me get paid for it. I'm going to punish you. And I think that's exactly what Bud would do to Teal. I think he will punish him mm -hmm. because Teal's been kept poking at him. You know, I get Bud. I'm not mad at Bud for pulling up on him or if Teal pulled up on him and Bud just gave him. But when Bud pointed that finger, like put that finger in his face like that, <laughs> and they say he may have dunked him on his, feet on his forehead, that lets you know Bud was tired of it. Bud was tired of the being poked by Teal. You know, he's two weight classes below him now, maybe one and a half. You know, <laughs> but um, Tio said he'll go up to 154 to fight Bud. So, Bud, hey, if you can't get your, your payday fight with old boy, you might as well take care of this light work for a little for, for a few M's and get it out the way. You'll be satisfied because you would have punished this dude. This dude would be out of your way again. He can't say nothing no more. And you got paid for the, a, a, a free payday, basically. Honestly, that's why I think he'll be. I think it will be a really brutal beatdown. Cause he's gonna really do this to hurt that boy from all the noise that Tio's been saying and the fact that Tio called him sweet afterwards in, the, in that tank in that um in that tweet i think that also gonna get on the bud skin a little bit so Tio is is ruffling their own feathers you know um i don't agree with any any fighter any professional fighter doing anything outside of the ring you know just because it comes so many legalities and that that could end their career completely uh, who knows it could add other stuff in there Elements in it that could go to a whole bad rep, bad way. So I don't agree with that part. I don't mind but checking T.O. But <laughs> I think he was checking the tip and said, no, nah, I want to fight you in the ring. I want to fight you outside the ring. Tio, I, luckily, T.O. kept this smart. He said, no, nah, I want to fight you in the ring. He knew better than to try Bud outside the ring as well. But um, I think Bud, Bud Energy got turned up for T.O. a little high. You know, I think he needed to turn down a little bit just be like, hey, Let's do this in the ring. You you don't you you at you wanted my attention. You got my attention. So let's do this. Let's sign, sign the dotted line. You're gonna take these little coins. I'm gonna sing you. I'm gonna get these M's, and then you're gonna get this A whipping. As long as I as long as I want to punish you, and get it done like that. He really can't take that fight because if he takes that fight, then people are gonna wonder why he didn't take this run in his fight. So he really can't take it. But it is what it is. You guys tell us what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to hate, like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Angry Man Podcast, M Sports Media, and we are out. They hate, but they hate us. <laughs> pew, pew, pew.